Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I wanted to share a little project that I did. I was thinking about this, and um, I mean, I, sh I think I showed these little cuts on Instagram. These are little cuts that I made on my silhouette cameo. Now, I was thinking, yes, um, you guys, I, I'm not sure if I, I, I'm sure I mentioned it. I really don't do much Halloween. I really don't really, um, Halloween's not a big thing in my, in my, my, my universe, I guess. Um, Christmas is my jam. I, I think about Christmas all the dang time. But um, I was thinking, okay, for people that really don't do Halloween, like I don't give out candy because I work. I work graveyard, most likely, and I work in the um, I work in the casinos in Las Vegas, so we never have holidays off, any kind of holiday. So I don't give out candy. I decorate my parents' house, and they give out candy. It's a big thing. I I think I mentioned it before, where they um, my my dad is a big fan of Spider Man, so the kids that come dressed as Spider Man usually get a t always get a toy and stuff. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to do something for someone, let's say I was thinking, well, I mean, I wasn't thinking of like the people in this situation because I am the people in this situation. I was like, okay, what if you really don't do Halloween, but you want to give a treat to somebody or like, you know, an adult, not just kids, kids go trick or treating, they get candy, they get costumes. Let's be honest, you know, 90% of the time Halloween is for kids. So I was thinking, what could you do for an, for an adult, you know, for like, for just, you know, I was thinking, okay, something for me to give to Nathan. And actually this idea came to me, um while I was already starting to plan for Christmas, like where we're going to put the stockings, because when we normally put our Christmas stockings, they're going to go in a different place so we can put the couple's um, advent calendar that I had a video um, that I did previously in my channel. You guys can look that up. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Hey, stockings, you know, you put little treats and gifts and everything like that. So what did I do? I went and I made Christmas stock. I mean, not Christmas to me, stock at uh, Halloween stockings. But, um, so let me show you first the cuts that I used on my silhouette cameo. The stocking I used, it was a plaid stripe stocking by Felicity Jane. Now it has a plaid and everything like a ch uh, buffalo check. I just used the one that's the background cutting cut and then I cut the top to, and I'll show you, to separate it. And that one is 111451. And the font I used was Game Over number 115067. And that's the font for these. Here, let me for these letters, these um, letters, because I wanted it to look, now of course these are like the 8-bit letters and everything, but I wanted it to look like a Halloween style Christmas sweater, hence where I made these little cuts. Now what I did, I couldn't find these cuts anywhere. Um, I saw some, but I couldn't, it wasn't a cut that you can import into your, um, into your Cameo, into your software. So what I did was I took um, little squares, one inch squares, and I and on my cameo, and I multiplied them in by several rows, and then several rows down. I think it was like twenty, uh, like fifteen or twenty um, each way. And then what I did was I can I deleted the ones like let's say this was a full square. I just deleted the three, um, the three or four little squares here, the ones here, the ones that would make the eyes and the nose and this. So it looks like the eight bit kind of um like the old school video games, but a lot of the times the those ugly Christmas sweaters look like this as well. I did the same thing with the the skulls. And you can think of it like in like if you're gonna do like building blocks kind of thing. So that's what I did and I made several of them. Let me move this. These are the little leftovers. I made several of them in case I messed it up because I really wasn't sure. I kinda had an idea what I wanted, but I wasn't sure how I how I had it. But this is what I made. Um and I will have a tutorial at the end of this. It's gonna be sped up and probably a voiceover on I had everything already cut out and it is an assembly of how I did this. So and the funny thing is it looked like little Halloween socks. So one is for Nathan and one is for myself and they're um and they're basically a little pocket for us to put um little treats. So I'm gonna hang these um and I'll put in some treats for um for Nathan and he'll put in some treats for me and I'm gonna make him do it. So and this is just I did and it's all cardstock. And this is and I, oh and that's another thing. I don't have Halloween paper, I don't have Halloween pattern paper, I don't have Halloween anything. So um I was thinking, what can I use to make it Halloween? And I just, I mean, I actually had to go buy orange paper. Like, that's how bad it is. <laughs> like, I don't really have orange paper. And as you guys know, I don't really craft with yellow. So I would have to buy yellow paper if I did anything yellow. And I just, you know, little green um, stem. So let me show you. Uh, so this is the part. So basically, I had the stocking cut. And then I just cut this off to make the separate part in white. And, um... This, all I did for here, for this, I made circles on my cameo over this design, a circle, and then I cropped it. So I had this little piece. So I these are basically the cuts from this main one. 
So, yeah. And then I layered the um the socks, the little print, like if you would, like if it was, you know, like a like a ugly Christmas sweater or whatever, or like the Halloween socks. And just a pattern, a really cute pattern. These skulls, I made the skulls in, I made the items, the icons in two different sizes. I prefer the skulls on mine and Nathan liked the way this, because I kind of laid them on here. I said, hey, look, what do you think? Which one would you like? So he picked that pattern. And this is what I did. I just layered them. Like I said, the tutorial will be um after the the this little intro. And you can see how I assembled everything. I just had everything already ready. And then I assembled them. I put his name on the top. I put my name. And then afterwards, I put little um, stitching. Just a little faux stitching with my little... Um, this is one of those Tombow brush tip. It, the dual tip ones. It has the, the, the fine tip. And then the brush tip. I love those. Those are perfect for like um, script and writing and stuff. So, But that is what I mean. Like I said, I was thinking of something quick I can do. I just kind of... Um, you can find the cut that has the separate parts. I just liked the shape of the stocking. I wanted a thick, wide shape, so, um, it would be easy to assemble. Um, I want to have it glued on both sides so, uh, we can, um, put little stuff in there. Candy, whatever, little treats, whatnot. And I just totally love, I just basically stack this like it, like it would be stitched, um, so it looks like I said, it looks like a little bit like a little nerdy 8-bit thing, which of course Nathan would probably like anyway, but also looks like it's a cross stitch. Oh, sorry for the shakiness, a cross stitch um pattern. So yeah, like I said, and this is super quick, super easy. And assembly, I think it took me like 30 minutes to assemble everything. Um, it took me maybe 15, 20 minutes to cut everything, and I didn't have to actually go and buy Halloween stuff. So I don't know <laughs> to save my life. I try to do it and I don't know how to export files. If someone can give me a good video, a recent video, because they, since they, um, Silhouette Software changed things, um, I don't know, they change things and you can no longer just automatically just save to your, de to your desktop um, or to your own files as opposed to in the Silhouette thing and I don't know how to do it. I've seen so many things, honestly, I will be honest and truthful, I haven't tried any one of them. So if anybody can show me or tell me or guide me in the way of how to do it, I'd be more than glad to share these files. So um, these are already made and you can just size them, whatever. Um, so yeah, I have all of that. I totally love it. Um, it's super, super cute. And you can do this for any holiday, any, if you wanna do Groundhog's Day, if you wanna do National Beaver Day, you know, throw a beaver on there, I don't know. Um, National Hot Dog Day, you can pretty much make stockings for any theme, for anything, National Cookie Day, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, but I just wanted to think of a little treat. Instead of doing like a, just a basic little treat bag or a little treat box, I wanted to do something different. Because I think Nathan's kind of used to seeing all of the little projects that I make. So I like to, you know, try it up and think of cutesy wootsy little things. And this way I get candy too. So yes. So thank you guys for stopping by. Please stay tuned for a little tutorial. It'll be sped up, super sped up with a little voiceover, okay? So thanks for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone. Well, hello again, and welcome to another one of my silly little tutorials um, that apparently seem to do like at four in the morning or something. I Like I said in the, in previously, I just got off of work and I put these together. I've had these cut on my desk for like ever. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to adhere. I'm measuring to see exactly where the white part is, and that's the white part that I cut off of the image. And then I'm going to go with, um, I'm starting with Nathan's stocking. And this one has the skulls and the pumpkins. And I'm going and I'm using my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I love that. That little nozzle is um I get asked a few uh I've been asked a few times with that nozzle that I have on my Scotch Quick Dry. And I got that off of Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it there. If you guys want, just let me know. Uh so here I'm just trying to figure out how I want the the little skulls and the jack o' lanterns spaced and everything because I wanted to put down the actual little images first and then put over that the top layer that's on the top of the stocking and the heel and the toe portion. And like I said, those, I don't really show how I made that. It was just a circle that I used and then I cropped, um, I, I did the modify uh, my object and I just cropped it. But here I am, I'm, after I glue on the actual items, and I'm using uh, just my regular scissors to cut around. I flipped it over so I can cut around the back and get rid of the excess pieces of those, um, of those images. And 
Some of them you can actually use on other sections. Now I did use a Scotch Quick Dry and I'm using my ATG gun for the top layer because that is a bigger flat layer and it's only going to go over it. And um, so I just use that. But as you can see here, I did, I, I had a massive boo-boo. I realized that I put, um, I layered that part a little too low. So I went ahead and had to redo it again. And then I still had it a little bit off. All I did was I cut it off. See, I make boo-boos, I make mistakes. Um, might as well just leave them in there, it happened, you know? You fix it or you move on. And I didn't want to make another one because I didn't make more, an additional cut in case I messed this one up. So like I said, here I am putting on the toe portion and the heel to get it all going. And I'm measuring to see, like I'm just kind of eyeballing to see where the letters are going to go. And these are the letters, like I said, I used the font Game Over. And that's font, the number in the Silhouette Store is 115067. And I just, you know, did both of our names and I did it. So here I'm using my ruler three-fourths of the way, three-fourths of an inch the way up so I can get the names evenly. And I start on each end to kind of go from there to the center. Because sometimes when you start from one side, if you didn't really measure everything correctly, and here I was just eyeballing it, you end up with like less space on one end. So this way I'm going from the outside in. And I'll have, the, I'll, I'll have the perfect spacing on both sides. And this is just a three-fourths inch by, I think it was like eight and a half piece of paper. But I cut that in half. And here I am. I'm curling the paper a little bit so I can make the little loop that the stocking will hang from. I'm not sure where I'm going to hang these. Um, and I did hang it just straight up. I had it at a little angle. So when you hang it, the stocking will just hang perfectly. And here I am. Now, I do have, you can see I've used three different adhesives here. I'm using the red line tape here because I'm just trying to get rid of it. And this is a project that's going to be up for probably just the next week. And that's pretty much it. But I wanted to try to finish this red line tape. I prefer score tape because you can tear it. You don't have to have the tediousness of um, having this plastic strip that you have to uh, cut instead of just tear. And it's not very easy to get it around edges, so I had to sit there and finagle with it for a little bit. And I wanted to use um, this this uh, adhesive to make sure my paper stayed. Because sometimes when you use the ATG for something that's going to hold stuff, it might not be the best um, way for you to do it. And see here, I'm sticking my hand in there. And look, you can see I glued them a little bit off, and I'm a little perfectionist sometimes. So I went ahead and trimmed off. And I'm just sticking my... Um, trimmed off the the edges of it and I stuck my uh, bone folder in there just to make sure that it still opens and everything I can put candy and everything and it'll be very easy and here I'm doing I'm working now on my stocking and I wanted to do the skull so I'm just kind of placing everything to see where it's going to go what I need to cover and what will be covered by the the top layer the heel and the toe so here I'm just like once again just adding the um the adhesive to them and putting them on. And just, you know, I just layered it kind of just I really did. Like I didn't even measure anything. I just eyeballed it. And I measured, I think I would have been more um anal about it and made sure there would have been like perfect and they would just drive me nuts. I would never get the, I would have never gotten these done. So once again, just adhere to the front. And on this call at the top, I did cut off some of it. I will be cutting off some of it, mainly so um, the top layer will lay flat. And here I am, like I, just like I did with the first stocking, I'm taking off the edges. And um, so it ends up with a smooth end. So it looks like, you know, it's circling around to the back. And just adding the heel and the toe. Like I did with the first one. Trust me, these were super, super easy to assemble. Once you have your images, I think it took me longer to make the little pumpkin and the skull images. So I was um, I was able to do everything. Like this, this stuff has literally been sitting on my desk for like weeks since my, for my parents' uh, anniversary. But I'm, uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, so I realized that on one side I'm missing, there's like a little gap. So I just took one of the skulls that I had already cut off at the bottom and I was able to use that scrap to finish off that edge. And it was just, you know, totally easy peasy. Adding again the little 
and it's basically the same thing. And if you want to make several several of these for like your family, your friends, your office, your coworkers, you know, if you have a small office group that you hang out with, you can totally make these easily. Fill with candy, hang them up in their cubicle, in or from their computer, from their desk, and easy peasy, and they will absolutely love it. And it's super super cute. It is cardstock, but if they would like, they can still use it. You know, they can use it again. They can regift it. Well, not really. Not if it has their name, huh? Silly me. So, but I mean, they can just keep it at their desk. You know, there's people that like Halloween stuff all year round. But here I am again, like I said, this, um, this red line tape is just, it's just tedious with a thick plastic liner. And, um, I'm just really, really trying to get rid of it. I've had this, I've had, I had tons of it when it first, when I first got it, I had tons of it. So I'm just trying to finish it off. And once again, just layering the items. And there was a little corner right there that was totally bugging me. That was just a little missing space, but it just wasn't worth going through all the hassle of, you know, of doing that. And I decided, like, it, basically the same thing. Like I said, you can do these in a very easy sweatshop style, as I call it, or, you know, an assembly line or sweatshop style, whichever one you want to call it. Sometimes when I'm making a large amount of crafts, I do feel like I'm in a sweatshop. But hey, everyone has a hobby, right? And here I am using the, um, and the funny thing is I kept, the letters kept sticking to my hand, so I had to go and get the little tweezers so I can do this um, right. And I don't know if you noticed, but you see the R, the bottom of the R is crooked. I, it totally drove me nuts. I didn't realize until about, I think about now, that it was actually cricket and it drove me nuts. I actually had to pull it up and, and fix it later on. I, I'm not, I don't even remember if I have that in the video, but it drove me nuts. Like, uh, like I feel like I totally failed. Like, I'm like, I can't do the entire stocking over again just because the bottom leg of the R is not perfect. And so I slowly and carefully like pulled it off, pulled um the bottom of the R up so I can see, look, there I am. So I can re-glue it and set it back down because it was totally driving me nuts. I'm telling you, I make tons of boo-boos. Normally I don't show them or you just see the finished product. Um, and once again, I'm just checking it. I'm opening it, making sure I can put some stuff in it and get it, get it going. So I'm looking at them and I'm like, wait, this needs like some stitching, you know? So I went ahead and got my Tombow um, brush, dual brush pen, and I just did some faux stitching. I was going to do white on the other, on the black sock part, but I'm like, you know what? Some of the skulls go to the edge, it'll just disappear, and I think it'll be just lost in translation. So I just went ahead and I did it around the top layer with where the name is located, and the heel and the, the toe. So thank you again for stopping by and listening to my silly babbling on this tutorial. Hope you like the project, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone!